This man is at the door of hell. Let's give him a name. Mr. Manifold. Yes, Mr. Manifold is at the door of hell. Somehow it seems to be his final destination after a life of subtle stubbornness. He's there and he doesn't expect to find himself waking up out of a dream. He's there and he doesn't expect to pinch himself, get startled, back to reality, that kind of thing. No, in fact, the thought of that happening makes him smile. He's just mildly surprised to find himself there at the door of hell. Whoa. To all accounts, the kindly old man who is the doorman and who conceivably reminds him of his father, is sat reading a book. But the old man gets up smartly and without time for either of them to feel that they're standing on ceremony says, hold my book for a minute, would you, while I get this door open? Presumably, you know, you need two hands to get this door open. Now, for some reason, this old man doesn't just put his book down on the chair. It's now all starting to happen quite quickly. <laughs> Mr. Manifold finds that he's made a decision and is already holding the old man's book, as just about anybody else would. But it does seem a bit curious, because in however small a way you like to consider it, it's as if he's helping himself enter hell. Taking the path of least resistance. Of course, at the same time, Mr. Manifold suddenly thinks, even as he finally grips the book, this is it. My chance for a reprieve. It's the final test. This is the straw which is going to tip my good deeds over my bad deeds. Next thing he knows, they've exchanged opinions on the book. He's handed it back to the old man, and he's being shown into hell.
Tchau!